Hello guys, this is Prince and welcome back to my center. Click on the subscribe button below to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Today, I'm going to teach you how you can use your calculator to solve this question in an examination. So let's say you are in an examination and you have this question. Simplify a minus b over 3 plus 3a over 2. I'm going to teach you how you can use your calculator to solve it. In an objective examination, you are not required to show working, so you can use your calculator to solve this. Sometimes too, you may not know how to you may not know how to solve the question. For example, here the question is telling us to simplify this expression, and you don't know how to do it. So if you know how to use the calculator to find the right answer, it's going to help you a lot. So this is what you are going to do. To begin the whole process, you have to assume values for the variables in the expression. Now this is what I mean. You have to assume values for a and b. In this expression, the variables are a and b, so you assume values for a and b. In assuming the values, don't pick zero, don't pick negative numbers, and don't pick one. So you can pick any positive whole number except one. So don't pick zero, don't pick negative numbers, and don't pick one. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to assume that a is equal to two. So I assume that a is equal to two. Then I will assume that b is equal to three. So I also assume that b is equal to three. So I have made the assumption a is equal to one and b is equal to three. Now, after you, you finish with that, this is what you do. You enter the expression on the on your calculator. So, you switch on your calculator and you enter the expression on the calculator. So, since it's a fraction, so we press on the fraction button. We have A minus B as the uh, numerator. So, you press on alpha, then you press on A minus alpha, then you press on B. I hope you can see the buttons that I'm choosing. Then the denominator is three. You press on this to bring. You press on this button to bring the cursor here. You click. You press addition or plus. Then you press the fra fraction button again. So you have three. Since it's three A here, so three then alpha and you press on A. A to have your three A. Oh, sorry then you press on this to get to the denominator then 2 so we have a minus b over 3 plus 3 a over 2 over 2 as we have in the question we also have it on our calculator now you have to allow you have to let your calculator calculate the value of the expression at these values for you so you click on calc now, as soon as you click on calc, the calculator, the calculator is asking you a question mark, which means that which value of a should you use? We assume that a is equal to 2, so you press a is equal to 2, or you press 2, enter. It's asking you for the value of b2, so b was, we assume that is 3, so you press 3. Now, the calculator is saying that the answer is 8 over 3, so you write that answer down, 8 over 3. 8 over 3. What this means is that when a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 3, the value of what we have here is 8 over 3. Now, you put a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 3 into each of these options and you see what, and you find out which option will give you 8 over 3. That option is the right answer. So, this is what we are going to do. We are going to put a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 3 into each of these options. So you pick the first one. You, once again, you bring your calculator. You pick the first one. For the first one, we are saying that we have a minus 2b over 6. We know that a is 2. So it means we are going to have 2 minus 2b two means 2 times b. We said b is 6. 2 times, uh, sorry, we said b is 3. 2 times 3 will give us 6. So it means we have 2 minus 6 divided by 6 the answer is negative 2 over 3 which means that that is not the right answer then you move on to the next one on the next one the option is 4a minus b over 6 4a means 4 times a so you, a is 2 so you have 4 times 2 which is 8 
to 8 minus b is 3 so we have 3 divided by 6 and that will give us 5 over 6 the answer we are looking for is 8 over 3 which means that that is also wrong so we move on to the next one we have 11 a minus 2 b over 6 a is 2 so 11 a means that 11 times a so 11 times 2 which is 22 so 22 minus 2b means 2 times b b is 3 so 2 times 3 will give us 6 so 6 divided by 6 so and that is giving us 8 over 3 the answer we are looking for is 8 over 3 which means that the option giving us that answer is the correct option so in this case the correct option is option c so in our examination this is the correct option so you can see that we were not able to solve the question but we have been able to use our calculator to find the right answer if you want to actually know how to solve this question watch the video on addition of algebraic expression that is available on this channel so if you go into the algebraic expression playlist you find addition of algebraic expression and you'll be able to understand how to solve this this trick will help us in objectives so that you'll be able to get the answer faster it will also help us when you can't solve the question did you enjoy this video if you enjoyed it click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel for more videos and don't forget to share it with others. Bye-bye and see you in the next video.